hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Chimaima. today we are going to be talking about my mock question paper and today is for the practicals unfortunately i do not have the question paper for physiology practicals and for anatomy is usually simple chase, so there is no question paper but biochemistry actually gave us their question paper to go back home with so for anatomy anatomy was was divided into histology and gross anatomy steeplechase histology steeplechase we were given 20 slides to view and we asked different questions on those slides for anatomy we were given 30 pinned structures to identify and probably give your blood supply or innovation or just general stuff about anatomy and it covered all aspects of anatomy the histology the embryology the neuro and the gross then moving on to physiology physiology question paper was divided into two parts the part one was steeple chase where different um equipment and apparatus were placed and were asked to identify and give their uses in medicine in the field of medicine uh, for paper two it was divided into session a and b session a was obj session b was um subjective questions for you to complete the sentences just short answer questions and then the section c was um theory i remember we asked to view a slide and it was a spam that was viewed and we were asked to identify what's on the slide and draw the structure of it and some other little questions theory questions that were asked under it so that was a b and c then for um biochemistry i have the question paper here which i'm going to show you for one a we're asked to um re a bit to group this equipment um spectrophotometer water bath analytical balance centrifuge ph meter password prepared cutting wool spatula glucometer cleaning strips um freezer hexane no normal saline methyl maybe methylated spirit they were asked to classify them so this classification is based on equipment or apparatus or reagent so that's those are the um classification that were required although they didn't indicate it here but i mean and we're not taught either but i mean this is common sense these are the classes that they were expecting us to do then the access to states here uses and remember they indicated in a tabular form so don't go and do something else then state the principles of the following biochemical test and uses this is 1b molis test and selenoff's test this one is straightforward you just state the, the principles of this test and what they are used for then two, two number two and three were practical purely practicals we were given all these reagents like um boy uh, two a says if boy a fruit juice company claims its fruit juice Vita C is a good source of ascorbic acid. You have been provided with a sample of the fruit juice tablet X and a standard ascorbic acid solution A of concentration 0.5 grams per DL. Determine the quantity of ascorbic acid in grams per DL present in the sample following the, following, AB, following the procedure below. So they gave us the procedure in which we were expected to carry out the, the experiment. So in this way, expected to report our practical exactly from date to title of practical aim of practical samples provided reagent blah 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 blah, blah down to conclusion so that's what was expected of us and um, we expected to of course um to be sa says what is your recommendation from the finding i remember mine was below the reference range so i mentioned that i mean these people are crooks <laughs> i mean obviously I, would, I didn't say that but that was the way i put it that, it, that it's the definitely we're not saying the truth then stage three biomedical importance of ascorbic acid i mean this is also straightforward and 3a says proteinuria is a symptom of drug induced nephrotoxicity a urine sample m from a 70 year old man mr naji Suspected of ne nephrotoxicity has been provided for protein assay to quantitatively measure protein present in urine to determine the state of his kidney. They have been provided with a B-Uret reagent and 1 gram per liter standard protein solution determine the concentration of protein in the sample M using the method below. They, were they actually gave us the um, they actually gave us the procedure to carry out the practical tour and were expected to report in the standard practical way that 
um, date of experiment, title of experiment, aim of experiment, and blah blah blah, all the way down to conclusion. So that's what was expected of us. Then they asked us to calculate the concentration of protein present in sam- in sample M in grams per liter and grams per mi- milliliter. So we're expected to convert from grams per liter to grams per milliliter. Those are okay. What else were we asked? Okay, then they asked us to state the consequent the constituent of B red reagent and their uses. Straightforward. Then um, 3C says briefly explain the reason for any violet color change observed during the assay. This too is just straightforward. I did very well in this practical exam and I'm not surprised at all because I mean I'm the group leader in my biochemistry practical group. So most of the times it's a group leader that carries out the practicals and maybe probably with uh, alongside some other group members that are nice enough to help the group leader to carry out the practicals because by right these things are supposed to be done in group with all the group members but most of the times what you see people do is they disappear from their group and go to other groups to you know get value or something and then it's after their own group leader have gotten values that's when they now run back to collect values and they, <laughs> i mean that's what happens but as one of the reasons why I didn't have problems with all these practicals, I was a group leader, so most of the times I was the one doing the practicals, except on days when I was maybe tired or sick, then, but even at that, it wasn't a problem to me. So I think that that is it for today's practical. As it for that, that, in fact, that is just it for my mock exam generally. And that's it. For all the questions I was asked, so please, if you have any question or anything that you think I or anything at all that you think that I should explain further, don't forget to email me. I am very much available. Okay. Um, if you're a medical student and you're watching this, please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. And if you have subscribed already, please turn on the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. Next week, I am going to start a new series that's my jam story series many people have asked me about my jam story how i got admission how much i um, how, what was my jam score posterior score my school admission process and all that i am going to be addressing all of that in that series that's my jam story series and for those who do not know i wrote jam seven good times it was on my seventh attempt that i got admission to study medicine and surgery so it's a whole so- story and it's a whole series that would be encouraging to anybody who is yet to get admission or those who have gotten admission already but are just curious about how i got my own admission then another series that will be coming up would be my main mbbs exam vlog throughout my main mbbs exam three weeks at my main mbbs exam I, it was for three weeks and i vlogged every single thing that happened during the three weeks so i would like you guys to follow up with that series as well i remain your girl jemima 